Welcome. Today you're going to learn how to set up your zone settings and availability in your movinghelper.com account. To begin, log in to your movinghelper.com account with your username and password. Once you're logged in, click on the Zone Settings tab. As you can see, I've already created some zones. I have Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4, and Zone 5. I'm going to turn on Zone 3 and Zone 5, but I'm going to leave Zone 4 and Zone 2 inactive. You also can zoom in or zoom out on this map. You can also click and drag around on this map. Additionally, you can turn on or turn off the U-Box locations, or you can turn off or turn on all zones. Let's say you wanted to only look at inactive zones. You can just check that box to see that. Or let's say you wanted to only look at active zones. You can check that box as well. I have three zones active, but you only see two right now. But if I click and drag on the map and then zoom in a little bit, you can see my third zone that I've created. You also have some services and features that you can select. There's same day service, next day service, and moving help now. I'm going to turn on the same day service, but I'm going to leave the other two settings the way I have them. Now let's click on the availability tab. This tab is important. To show up on the marketplace, you need to check out the availability tab and change your maximum availability. It will automatically set you at zero, so if you don't mess with the setting, you won't show up on the marketplace. It's also recommended for new service providers to set their maximum availability between one or two jobs per day. Make sure you save it, and you will be able to be ready to go. You also can have some customized premium or discount days. For example, I already have Monday, February 14th set at 14% premium. But let's say I wanted to create a discount day for a random day in March. I'll go to the calendar and go over to March, and I'll choose a random Monday. I'll choose the 21st. I'll change the button from premium to discount, and I'll give my discount rate. You can do 10%, 15%, or whatever you choose. I'm going to set this for 10%. Let's say you're going on vacation or have a family emergency. You can also create a custom availability. Let's say you wanted to go on vacation in April, so you don't want to accept any jobs during that time period. This is where you'll do that. You'll click on the calendar and go over to April and select your dates. My start date will be April 4th, and I'll put my end date as April 11th, and then hit Create. As you can see, between the two pages, I have the custom availability date set to accept Zero jobs between April 4th and April 11th. Thank you for watching the video on how to create your zone settings and availability in your movinghelper.com account.